Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, um, and this afternoon I'm going to try and do a very short video on explaining how to create a hole in a um, 2D morph, so a, a morph that's just a surface without any thickness. Um, this is an answer to a question that was made um, in the comments of a blog post I did over at BIM Engine, which is the Graphisoft North America blog, which I also write for. Um, it's pretty simple to do, but it's a little hard to explain um, in writing, so I just thought, let's do it with a video. So I'm going to go ahead and make a 2D morph. So if we select this um, and go to 3D, we can see it's just a thickness, or it has no thickness. So if we're in 3D, we can select the morph, go to the um, little pencil tool right there, and then we can draw another rectangle. We could, depending on what geometry method we did, we can make any kind of shape. So we've now delineated a, a border, but there's no hole. So if I'm, I'm going to hold down shift control, I, this will allow me to select a sub-element. I'm going to select that area, hit the delete key, and I've made a hole. Um, we can do that same thing in uh, plan or any kind of orthographic 2D view. I'm going to select the morph, get the pet palette come up, uh, select my pencil, and Right now I'm in an arbitrary spot, so you might want to um, kind of figure out where your hole is going to be with a hotspot or a temporary user origin or some guidelines. But anyways, we've drawn that box. Um, now I'm going to select uh, Control, Shift Control to select the sub element and delete, and there I've done it. Um, created that hole, and of course you could um, then go and select nodes and just you know, reshape this hole or you know move it um, if I just select that you can move wherever you want but that's the basics I don't take up any more time but that's how you cut a hole in a 2D morph thanks